In one of my latest videos, I showed you how pouring from about a foot, foot and a half off the ground made the paint mix more and gave kind of an ethereal look to an acrylic pour. Today, I'm going to take that to the extreme and we're going to go all the way up to my camera bar, which is four feet above my canvas. I'm going to pour a straight pour from four feet up down onto my canvas and see what we get. My wife chose the colors today. It is a brilliant red with a little bit of magenta in it, a yellow ochre, a metallic teal, and a bright aqua green, although it looks like light blue, light green right on that, that edge there, and then with a black base. I'm using a canvas that I've already used before. Um, you can tell because I painted over it. You can kind of see that. But I painted over it black just to make sure that especially the edges didn't show anything. Now that I have my black base down, I'm not going to worry about bubbles because this is going to create a ton of bubbles when I pour it. But you can see how big it's going to get here. I'm all the way up here at four feet and let's pour. I'm going to go in for a quick close-up to see how this all looks. I'm starting to get some cellular action from the metallic paint. But it looks very spacey, which is awesome. Alright, so let's stretch. So the first thing I notice is I have no real solid colors except for these tiny black pearl cells that are coming up on the outside. Because I poured from so high up, it pushed so much energy into the paint as it hit that all of the colors mix, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I love that. Some of these that you see here that are a little bit darker, that's where right at the end I was pulling my paint off. So those were the little drips that were a little bit lower that gave a little bit more color definition. Second, a lot of these things, these bubbles that are coming up have a teal look to them because they are the lighter metallic paint rising to the surface. A lot of this is caused by that metallic paint. Now I did use Floetrol with all of these, two parts, two to three parts Floetrol to one part paint. So I'm going to get some natural cellular action. I have a feeling in about 10 or 15 minutes I'm going to have a bunch more of these pearl cells on the outside where there was a lot of black. But let's give this a few minutes and come back for a close up. So a couple of interesting pieces that I really like. These were the drips that I had that almost look like planetary bodies or galaxies. And then I love this swath of red. The red mixed with the blues and really make a, made a reddish purple. But there's no red red which is really cool. And some of the details around the edges here, you can see where the paint, the ochre kind of comes through the other colors. There's another area right here where the ochre, ochre kind of looks goldish and is shining through. Well, I'm gonna have to try that method more with my Galaxy Pour videos. And if you like painting galaxy or space with acrylic pores, here is another video on another way that I've done it in the past.